Hello friends, in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to better capture high contrast scenes with your iPhone by merging HDR brackets in On One Photo Raw 2023. And that software has great features for HDR merging. So On One costs 100 US dollars and that includes a powerful raw editor, which also includes HDR merging capabilities. Today though, we're going to be focused on the HDR merging of On One. To capture the iPhone raw HDR brackets, we're going to be using Aura HDR camera available in the App Store. With it, it's easy to shoot raw or JPEG brackets in really high quality. So let's take a photo of the high contrast scene. This scene is a great example to use HDR merging because of its extremely high contrast involving the bright sun and deep shadow. A few things to note while taking the shot. I've set this to high quality raw bracket capture and that setting is really intended for low light shooting. But for this bright scene, it doesn't really matter whether you use high quality raw bracket capture or just the normal raw bracket capture. You can also shoot in JPEG and that will result in a much smaller file size at the expense of less dynamic range. So once we have taken the shot, this will result in three exposures separated by two stops. Our HDR also supports four exposures, but for most cases, it's not practical in an iPhone. So now let's demonstrate how to use On One to merge the exposures. All right, so here I am in On One. Let's navigate to the folder where the exposures are contained. I've navigated to the folder and these are the three exposures. The file extension is DNG, which is the raw format for the iPhone. How do you merge it in on one? Let's just do that. What you need to do is just select. So I'm just going to shift click here to select all three. Then just right click. Then just choose create HDR. So this dialog will show up. So the image has been tone mapped detail from both the dark shadows and the bright highlights has been compressed you can see more of the scene than with any single image on the right side of this dialog you see some controls for improving this hdr which looks a little bit flat first thing i would do with this image is just to make it pop a little bit more and so i'm just going to lower the haze here and you can see how the haze is bringing back so much more color and detail in the skies. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So another thing I'd like to improve here is this foreground, which is well exposed, but lacks any contrast. So I'm just going to increase the black level here, like so. So let's just do that a little bit. So we want a little bit more blacks in the image. Let's see if the highlight slider also improves this. Okay, so the highlights as well, you can see that it brings back so much more detail in the highlights. And that's because we have three exposures in which to get data from. The next thing we can do here is look at this next tab, which is the HDR look tab. And it has some other controls as well. The most important here would be the compression, which allows you to see more of an image whether you want it to be more natural, you can lower the compression, or if you want it to be more HDR-like, then you can set it to the maximum. So for this image, I want to keep it natural, so I'm not going to go too far here. Maybe somewhere in the middle is fine. And I'm going to enhance as well the clarity, which is another important slider in this panel. Okay, so that brings a lot of detail in the midtones. So clarity enhances the local contrast. And as you can see, it does a great job here. And that's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and save that. The HDR has been generated. So if you click on browse here, you see that the HDR will be placed in the same directory as your exposures. So now this is just a normal image. You can do some further editing on this. So if we click on here, let's click on edit to allow us to further edit this image. One thing I'm going to do here is to rely on AI to sharpen this image. 
and reduce the noise. An iPhone has a very small sensor and its raw file may have some noise here, but as you can see, not much because um, this was a very bright scene. That's the advantage of taking images with a good amount of light. You, you have a less noisy image and the quality of the image is much better. So what I'm going to use here is the AI to just increase the sharpness. I don't think I want to do any more noise reduction here. I'm just going to click on noise and sharpening. And then I'm just going to choose this tack sharp AI. And then I'll just click apply to that. And you can see a, a much sharper image. So this is really impressive because this is just an iPhone, but you can see how much dynamic range this image has. Okay, so the final thing I think I'm gonna do here is just crop the image. There's a little bit too much space here on the right side. So I'm just gonna crop it. I'm just gonna make sure it's at the original ratio. And I'm just going to... Okay, so I think that's fine. Just press enter to that. And we can export that, export this image. So the exporting is pretty fast. So let's now do the comparison. This was the before and the after. Before and the after. So I hope you see once again that HDR merging, especially raw HDR merging, can give you eye-popping images with greater dynamic range than any iPhone shot. And the great news is there's a ton of capable HDR software to achieve fantastic results. And we're going to go through a lot of them in this channel. So do check out Aura HDR on the App Store. It's the easiest way to get RAW or JPEG brackets and has a ton of powerful features. Best of all, if you purchase Aura HDR, you help support this channel and keep the tutorials coming. So till the next video, happy iPhone HDR shooting, and I'm going to be seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.